Okay, uh, let's review the um, basic operation the, of the Mini Sono. This is a tablet based ultrasound system. So here we can see the, the layout of the, of the menus. So in the upper left corner, we have this uh, little icon. When you touch this, then you will see the patient information form. Okay, if you want to exit, you can click here. Down in the left corner, it says exit. You can exit that, okay? So in the next arrow here, this little icon, you can see different options. One of them, one important one is the NXM and the browser option. Browser is where we can access all the patients we have in the system memory, okay? Here we have also report where we can see the, the measurements we did in the study and other you know, uh, menus that we can access in the system. But the most important things would be an exam, browser, and report, okay? If I click here again, it will disappear, okay? Then we have the image modes. So the main image mode is 2D here, then it has color flow, so you see the color flow box, then it has PW, when you click on that, then you will see the PW gate and the, and the PW um, waveform. If you want to go back to 2D, then you click here 2D. You see, it went back to 2D now. If you ever want to do M mode, then you click M mode here. You will see the line for the M mode. You can change the position of the line, and then the M mode will be represented here in the, the lower side of the screen. <clears throat> if you want to do um, measurements, then you see this uh, little um, like a scale here, when you click there, then you will have a different um, menu for uh, measurements. So if you want to do a distance, you will click here where it says this distance, and then you see a caliper there, and then you can either move the caliper with your finger, okay, or you can move it with the trackball with the trackpad. The trackpad is this here in the on the touch on the on the keyboard. Um, let's stay here with the with a touch screen. Then when you want to have a second caliper, then you will drag and then you can move to wherever you want the second caliper. If you need to use a, another caliper, then you will click distance again and you have another caliper there. You can move it wherever you want and then you can drag it, okay? It's good to practice this before using the, doing a study so you, you get used to how to operate the, the calipers, okay? Um, it also has uh, label measurements here, where it says label, where it will show you some uh, label measurements, in this case, uh, thyroid, and then you will see thyroid length, height, and width. So if you select those, then you will be able to, to see those measurements in the report, okay? Um, to exit to 2D, we click here, in this menu here, okay, in this bottom here. Okay, um, if you want to clear, you can just unfreeze. This is the freeze button here. Freeze and unfreeze. When you unfreeze the picture, all the measurements go away, okay? If you want to do annotations, then you see the ABC button here. When you click there, then um, here the, you'll see there is, a, there is a cursor here. You can either use the, the annotations that you have uh, in this menu. Let's say you wanna say, um, right um, right um, transverse and then uh, thyroid so you can see and then you can use your finger to drag the, the the annotation if let's say you want to type by yourself you can also use the keyboard on the system so there's backspace see the backspace here and then let's say I want to delete that I can backspace that and and I can, I can type by myself, okay? You can type whatever you want there, okay? So to go back to 2D, we click here the, to the bottom here, okay? Okay, if we want to clear those annotations, then you see in the lower side of the monitor, there's a clear option here. You clear, clear, and then you see how the annotations, they go away, okay? Um, then the operation of the, the ultrasound basic uh, controls will be gain and depth. Um, I'm just gonna hear myself for a moment. So let's say you want to change the, the gain 
um, you see gain here in the left side of the monitor. And then this is lighter here. You, you can move it down to get more gain or up to get, to, to get lower gain, okay? If you want to um, change the depth, here you click where it says depth, you touch there, and then this slider will allow you to move the depth, okay? Whatever number you see here, this little number, uh, will be the depth that you will get when you move it, okay? So if I move it here to seven, then the machine is doing seven, and then you can see it here, it says depth, seven centimeters, or you can also see here the scale, four, six, seven centimeters. So the two main controls are the gain, see, hey, gain, again, more gain, less gain, and depth. And here I will say four centimeters, and then it, it looks good, okay? Um, if I need to change the frequency, then you go here to this option, OPT. In OPT, you can change, you can see rest for resolution, gen for general, and pen for penetration. So if you need to get more penetration, you go here and you click where it says pen. So the machine is changing the frequency, trying to go deeper. In this case, now is doing eight megahertz. So when you go to resolution, the machine is doing now 12 megahertz. When you go to general, the machine is doing now 10 megahertz, okay? This is very important. So when you have a, a patient that you need to go deeper, remember to use the OPT key and then go to penetration to get more penetration, okay? Um, and those will be the, the three most important controls here, I would say. Um, there is a second menu here, as you can say, as you can see, it says one out of two. When you go to the second one, you see all the options there that you will be using less, okay? So I will stay with the first page. Um, let's say you want to change the, um, the TGCs. You see this little icon here where you can see that you will get uh, the TGCs. The TGCs, you just need to use your finger and slide it over here, and then you can create a different TGC um, curve, okay? See? And then you click again the TGCs, and then you can control your gain, for example, okay? I find this very useful, especially when you're doing vascular. You want to, you know, sometimes you need to decrease the, the gain in a particular section. You can do it like this, okay? You can also uh, move it individually. You know, you can get only one, see? Or, but I like to draw it like this, okay? Um, here uh, is where you can do the dual screen mode. When you click there, then you see the, the, um, the screen is split, and then you click again, so that image stays frozen now and goes to the next one. So when you want to freeze the last one, then you go to your freeze uh, bottom here, and you freeze the last one, okay? If you want to go to one single image again, click 2D, 2D here. Um, so when you have an image, um, you can freeze. Let's say you want to save it. You see the save bottom is in the right lower corner of the monitor. When you click there, the machine will save the, the picture here. Save, the, and you see this little icon here that tells you you have already um, saved the picture, okay? Um, to go live again, you unfreeze the, the machine. Now I'm scanning again. There are some, you can also type using the this little keyword here when you click here you will see there is a keyword on the screen where you can also type and you can move the position of the keyword and then you can type okay? and then you can move the the annotation this is when you don't have a keyword um, i think it's much better having the the keyboard on the computer that's why i have i have my my, my keyboard here see where i can type whatever i, I need okay and that will be the, the basic operation, the main controls of the system. Um, let's go now to another video where I'm going to explain how to um, put this, the patient information in the computer.